Didn't feature too much this season, Jules, uh, for Milan. But looking back, you think, well, what a career this man has had. What a career he's had considering he went to MLS. We thought that was it. And then obviously made that move back to Italy. Yeah, you're right. Incredible. Dan. And maybe that's the most impressive is the, the post-MLS career when we thought, OK, he's done now. And yet to, OK, not this season because he's coming back from a, from a really serious injury at his edge was never going to be easy. He only played four Serie A games this season. But, you know, last season, the season before that, the, the leadership that he brought, maybe more than the goals, but the leadership that he brought to, that, to this Milan team, especially when they won the, the title, when he was not playing, was... Was, was huge and, and you know, whether he was playing or not, it was big. It's an amazing career, really, when you think about it. The one thing, of course, missing is, is one Champions League. He came close at times. He just missed out on, on trophies by leaving or joining a club just too, too early or too late. Uh, and that, that, the, the Champions League is the one trophy that escaped him, really. But apart from that, the goals, the kind of goals he would score, the personality, of course, the charisma, all of that made Zlatan Ibrahimovic a very, very special player. Yeah, very special player is a good way to describe him, Jan. Yes, and uh, to add to what Jules is saying, it's also the standards he brought into every club he was. This was not a guy that, although he had a star quality, of course, he has a charisma, he had his saying, he had his quotes and everything, but this was a man from a young age training very, very hard, and he set standard everywhere. I spoke to teammates... Uh, of him and they came into the dressing room they were nearly embarrassed how they looked in the shower when they were standing next to a strong strong man of Slatan who was training in the fitness studio <laughs> training with his finishing doing everything and I and I will also I, I, I don't I'm not sure that he's finished though I think that we could still see some goals from him but if he would to be, uh, to be finished now, I think that the, the spectacular goals, I think that's what we'll be remembered for. Fantastic goals uh, all over. If you think of that goal he, he made against England at home when he, when he da did that volley kind of backwards shot. I mean, th those kind of goals, what a, what a player. And even if he was a Swede, he's still a Norwegian, have to say, fantastic, fantastic career. Something that I feel that you and Zlatan had in common, Ali, yeah. is that you were never in this to make friends. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> You've been saving that one, haven't you? <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm a social butterfly, Dan. Uh, well, I think Slatan and he never really accommodated his personality to somebody else and somebody else needs and wants. He was true to himself. Sometimes that came across as abrasive and selfish, but in the end, I think it's what drove him. Now, he cannot account for somebody else not having the same sort of hunger, and perhaps that's where the frustration came. What I'll remember most from Zlatan Ibrahimovic, beyond the personality and beyond the statements and the media and whatever he wrote in his book and this and that and the other, is for a big guy how silky his feet were how good he was with the ball at his feet. You don't equate big, tall, strong guys to have that sort of skill level with his feet. And that's what separated him, that he could do the hold-up play because of his size or because how strong he was, but then he could do the dribbling as well. A different kind of talent, different kind of personality, difficult at times to have him in a locker room if you have players that can't quite cope with the expectation and the pressure of having a guy like Zlatan Ibrahimovic, but that is not an indictment on Ibrahimovic. That's an indictment on the other guys that are not able to deliver when the pressure is the most heavy. Well, one of the things I would like to add, though, and everybody's right in everything they say, difficult personality, how good he is, how demanding, um, <laughs> but Ali and I did MLS Media Day when, yeah. when he was in MLS. Right. And for all the pomp and circumstance, for all how some of other players kind of show up and, and show out, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, for everything that he'd done in the game, show up in his full LA Galaxy kit, did all the interviews that was asked of him, did everything that MLS as a franchise could want. And, and I thought just the way, again, that he represented his club, the league, and the game went so far above and beyond others who were on a far lower rung than he was. Of course you say that, Shaka. Well, uh -huh. 
Shaka's very nice. Um, Zlatan's very nice yes, to Shaka yeah. in his book. That's what I said. Whatever yeah, he said in his book. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Whatever he said in his yeah, book. Yeah, exactly. We'll say thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis, and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.